So when the battle might not come back When the boots hit the ground You can't stop us now The prophets in your town We here to shut it down When the boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, be here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now It's time for the war cry In the spirit. So give me Isaiah 46 and 10. Bring it out. So what we're trying to say today is, according to the Bible, guess what? You're not a black man. You're an Israelite. That's right. You're not a so-called Hispanic. You're from the nation of Israel. That's right. Why is that important? Because God only has one chosen people. The same people that walked out of Egypt with Moses are here today, but they, right. they guess what? Through slavery, they do not know who they are. So we got to go back and reclaim our history. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 10. Uh -huh. right. Declaring the end from the beginning. This Bible is just not a book. This Bible declares the end from the beginning. That's right. That's right. Meaning all the history that you lost by being conquered by the conquistadors. Right. Okay, all the history you lost being conquered by the same people. Right. It is written in the Bible. Yeah, you right, can go right. back and find out about it. Read. Declaring the end from the beginning uh -huh. and the, from ancient times the things that are not yet done. So it, the Bible tells you about the current condition of the nation of Israel right. and what's going to happen to them in the future. How you doing, my brother? How's it going? So so you, you know who you are according to the Bible. Oh, you don't? Of course I don't. You know? Who are you? Israel. It's all praise to the Most High. So you you will be from what? The tribe of Judah. Um, on my uh, on my father's side, uh, he was uh, from Honduras. A um, uh, what? Hondor Honduras. 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 That's Zebulon. Same tribe this brother's from. That's right. The tribe of Zebulon. Get that in Hosea real quick. Seven and eight. Because hey, people got things confused. Israelites come in all colors. Right. This is not a color campaign. Right. What right. this is, is a nation campaign. Right. This nation got to come back together. Right. So we got, read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Ephraim, he had to mix himself among the people. So through slavery, Ephraim was mixed among the people. That's right. But guess what? You can't be mixed if you're with your seed. So as long as the, it, the seed line comes from the man, that can't be mixed. Right, but right. you mix by marrying other women. Read. Right. Ephraim is a cake, not turned. Ephraim is a what? A cake, not turned. So if you put a pancake on the grill or on, on, on the fire, you cook it and don't turn it, one side will be dark, one side will be light. That's right. Like this brother's light. He's from Zebulon, tribe of Zebulon. You're a That's little darker. Right. Tribe of Zebulon. Right. Same right. people. Same, conquered by the same people, renamed by the same people. But guess what? It's time to come back to who we are. We got to understand why we fail. Now, the tribe of Zebulon was on this side of the world, world first. How did you get here? Because we're going to dig into some history about your people. Let's, let's get it. It's in the Bible. When you come back to the Bible, you're going to learn. How, why, why was... Uh, why was the so-called Hispanics on this side of the world before everybody? How did they get here? Right. Let's find Read out the Bible. Read. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 40. Uh -huh. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. So, ten tribes were carried away prisoner out of their own land. Right. This was the time of the Assyrian captivity. We all dwelt as one nation under David and Solomon. That's right. Solomon sinned. 
nation got split into two. Tribe of Judah, no, House of Judah, House of Israel. Right. Zebulon right here is from the House of Israel. Right. My brother here is from the House of Judah, read. Which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, right. whom Salmanassar the king of Assyria led away captive. So in the time when they broke the kings up, the, the house of Israel, which is you guys, started worshiping idols. So, so the king of Assyria took you away captive. Now guess what? We're the chosen people of God. When we don't listen, we were the only one giving God's commandments. When we don't listen to him, he sends other nations against us. When we listen to him, we rule. So at, at this time, they sent the nation of Assyria after you, read. Right. And he carried them over the waters. Uh -huh. And so came they into another land. So they came to another land. Read. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen uh -huh. and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. They would go where? To a further country where never mankind dwelt. So you guys left during the time of the Persians when they ruled, they, they granted you liberty. You left and went to a, a further country where never mankind dwelt, which is this side of the world. Read. Right. Bring it up. That they might keep their statutes. That they might keep what? Their statutes. Now see, if we'd have kept them statutes, you'd have been still over here ruling. That's but right. you fell away from them statutes. So see, yes. what did the Lord do? Send somebody else against you. Read. Which they never kept in their own land, and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. So you guys enter into the Euphrates, meaning you, you went down around Africa into the Euphrates. You landed over there, what? Puerto Rico. You landed over there, what? Zebulon, all down there. And then you guys start traveling up, read. For the Most High then showed signs and held still the flood till they were passed over. So the Most High held still the waters. That's a dangerous trip without the Most High. So right. he held still the waters so they won't move on you. Read. For through that country there was a great way to go, uh -huh. namely of a year and a half. It took the northern kingdom, the house of Israel, a year and a half to get over here to the Americas. Read. Right. And the same region is called Arsaret. The same region is called what? Arsaret. So in the Bible, they call it, they they call this land where we at Arsaret. Right. Now, let's let's get that in the uh, Jewish encyclopedia. Let's see what they know that you don't know. Read. That's right. Bring it up. Arsaret, the name of the land beyond the great river, uh -huh. far from the habitation of man. In which the ten tribes of Israel, in which the what? The ten tribes of Israel right. will dwell, observing the laws of Moses uh -huh. until the time of the restoration. That's okay, right. so get me Deuteronomy now. So this land was called Osiris. You guys came over here and populated it. Okay, right. you had the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Zebulon. What happened? Let's get it. Deuteronomy 28, 30, uh, 32, no, 49. Let's see what happened when God's laws started to get broke on this side of the world. And then I'm, then I'm going to answer your question. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Listen, we stop obeying God. He ain't going to come down here and, and, and get rid of himself. He controls everything. That's right. He has a chosen nation that he wants to rule. That's right. When they don't want to uh, listen to his commandments, he sends other nations. So read that again. That's right. right. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The Lord sent a nation against you guys from far. You right. guys was on this side. They came from what? The east. Read. From the end of the earth. Uh -huh. As swift as the eagle flying. As what? As swift as the eagle Fly it. So what was the symbol of the Spaniards when they came over? What the symbol did they have? Do you know? Yeah, and what symbol did they have? Because it, it said they would come as swift as the eagle fly it. The, the, the symbol was the eagle. That's right. What's right. the flag here in America? The eagle. Right. These are the people that conquered you. Read. 
The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right. You would not understand that language. Like for instance, you speak Spanish? Now, you don't speak Spanish because that's what your people were speaking. Right. You speak Spanish because you were slaves under the Spaniards. Yes. Right. Right. This is why you speak Spanish. Right. This is why I speak English. Right. I was slave Jesus. here. Okay? Like, for instance, Christopher Columbus came over, conquered people, named the place Columbia, right? Yeah. right? So let's say 500 years later, somebody come up to you proud. Hey, I'm Colombian. Is he Colombian or he's just sleep? Right. He's a slave. Right. It's just Bring through it generations well, he's right. lost who he is. That's right. Like, for instance, we, we talked about the image you have tattooed here. They came with that image and a sword. Right. They raped your women. They enslaved your children. They taught you that image. So now, fast forward 400 years later, we proudly get it tattooed and worship right. that image. No. Right. That's right. Now, 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 now that your eyes are being opened, you see what you got to do. Teach, right. uh, before I go on, what was your question? Well, listen, the white man is the devil. The white man is the devil. Now, let me ask you this question. You were conquered, your people was conquered by who? My people was conquered by who? Devil simply means deceiver. Right. Okay, now, this brother was conquered and he has the white man tattooed on him. So who deceived him with that image? Bring it out. That's what the devil means, the deceiver. Uh-huh. This is the only thing that's troubling in my head. But what about the white people that helped free the slaves, you know what I'm saying, that risked their lives and going to the spot? Because there is proof of that. And I, what I'm trying to figure out is how can I call that person a devil or wicked or something? Get Isaiah 14. Uh huh. Well, well, listen, so listen. What, are those are like, what about those people? You know what I'm saying? Okay, that so actually agree with you guys' teachings that that agree 100 that it's a lie, but it's, and then you guys don't get accept you guys don't accept them or so, whatnot. So I, I just want to know, like, how do I go about that? Okay, so this is the deal. Like we said earlier, this is not a color campaign. Right. Somebody right. can look like what, what you would call a so-called white man right. and be from the nation of Israel. Right. right. So it's not about looks. It is about nation, though. It is about nation. So when we went into captivity, Daniel, a mighty prophet, righteous man, he, he, he served under Babylon. He followed God's commandments. So when the Lord judged uh, Israel, did he go into slavery? Yes, he did. Same thing with Jeremiah. Bring it up. Right? Bring so it guess up. what? When he comes back to judge that nation, they all got to be punished. Right. Okay? Because it's, it's, it's not an individual thing. Read that. Bring it up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Verse 21. Bring it up. Prepare slaughter for his children. What does the Bible say? Prepare slaughter for his children. Uh-huh. For the iniquity of their fathers. So prepare right. slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers. See, we might, uh, coming up in this world, we got all these emotions. But guess what? The Lord don't deal like that. Right. Get, you know, get 2 Samuel. Bring it get 2 Samuel 15. Bring, bring it out. 2 Samuel 15. Teach. Samuel 15. Teach. Uh, the Lord don't deal like that. He's coming to judge nations and put the, right. put the people that was on the bottom getting oppressed still to this day to put them on top right. now for instance right now who's ruling the world the so-called white man is ruling the world now christ is coming back with power and glory to put his kingdom on earth right. so who's ruling the earth again right now so you think he gonna rule next to him nope. kingdom's got to get shut down right. so the nation of israel can rule right. you understand that get read that first samuel 15. Now check this out. Read. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, and verse 1. Verse 1. 
Samuel also said unto Saul, uh -huh. The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, uh -huh. over Israel. Read. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Read on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. Now wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, listen close now. This is the God we serve, man. Listen close. I remember what? I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. So God is reminding King Saul. He's reminding King Saul that he remembers what Amalek did to Israel. Read. How he laid wait for him in the way. So this nation of Amalek, when we came out of Egypt getting saved as slaves, they were the first ones to attack us, right? They were the first ones to We said, hey, can we go through your land? They wouldn't let us go through, right? So as we walking through that land, we got the strong soldiers up front. We got the women and children in the back. Right. Amalek came from the back, starts killing our women and children. Right. This was when we were coming out of Egypt in the time of Moses. Right. Now we're years later. In the time of King Saul. Bring it out. Right. Read from the top again. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. So I remember what they done to, to, to my people when we, when we uh, freed them. Read. How he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now, right. He remembers that. We came out of Egypt and you waited on him. Read. Now go. And smite Amalek. Go and do what? Smite Amalek. So listen, God is telling the king Saul, go and kill Amalek. Read. Right. And utterly destroy all that all that they have. And utter utterly destroy everything that they have. Read. And spare them not. And do what? Spare them not. Read on. But slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep. Camel and ass. Now wait a minute. Listen, listen. At these the, the Amalekites right here, they wasn't there when we came out of Egypt. Right. They wasn't there. So why the Lord punishing them? Right. This is the Bring God we serve. Right. You may have a little mercy. The Lord ain't having no mercy. Right. And we right. got to deal with that. Right. That's what we got to deal with. Get uh, Revelation 13. Bring it out. Hey, but hey, that's what that's why he's the Lord. Teach Bro, you know what? Get <laughs> get that uh get that uh I'm not disagreeing. No problem. Deuteronomy 23. Revelation 13. Oh, uh, basically my question is um cuz like I know about the history. I watch you guys on YouTube all the time. Uh-huh. But um my, my thing is like with all these false doctrines that we have nowadays what are some of the commandments of God that we need to keep that we're not like? I heard one brother say it's a sin to ejaculate with a woman, in your wife. Uh, hey, let's get Matthew uh, seven. Like what? Are, like what? Are you some said of the, what kind of false? Do I mean, you gotta know when you're being taught right, man. Yeah. The first thing you gotta do is put on those commandments. Right. Matthew seven and five. We gotta understand what a false prophet, what a true prophet is. Okay, so you won't be deceived. Okay, read. The book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 15. Beware of false prophets. What does the Bible say? Beware of false prophets. Read. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. They're going to come to you looking nice, talking sweet. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. They are what? Ravening wolves. So we must first understand what a true prophet is. All right, bro. Have a good day. Hey. Yes, sir. Put them laws on. You know the law of the fringes. Put them on, brother. Because that's the only way to understand this Bible. Right, right. Once he see you starting applying his laws, you will be able to understand these scriptures. Okay. All praises. And, and the Lord cares. All praises. Tribe of Zebulun. Okay. Wait, before you leave, get Zechariah 8 real quick. Zechariah 8.13. Zechariah 8.13. Read that. 
the book of Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen. So it's going to come to pass that you are at the bottom getting ridiculed, getting oppressed. You were a curse among these heathen, read. O house of Judah. O house of who? Judah. My brother right here, house of Judah, read. And house of Israel. House of Israel right here, my brother, read. So will I save you, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you, uh -huh. when your fathers provoked me to wrath. So that's what we, we bring it out. You will be saved. Put on those commandments, have faith in his son. Okay, back to my brother here with the false prophet. Jeremiah uh, 3 and 15. What time is it? Jeremiah 3 15. Yeah. All right, I'm like, man, go, go back to Matthew. If I would have known how to pin started doing that, just like I stopped. First, first Peter 4 and 11. Just like I stopped shaving, just like I stopped pushing out of business. Uh huh. All right, listen. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. Uh -huh. If any man speak, if any man speak, he comes to you, he want to tell you about these scriptures. Read. Let him speak as the oracles of God. Let him speak what is written in the Bible. Because I don't see no scripture where it says fringes are optional. Right, so if right. he can't write it to you, if he can't show it to you in this book, he's lying to you, brother. Right, Get right. Uh, Romans 3 and 3. Let's see what the Bible says. Another right. thing, when you're dealing with men trying to teach you the word, read. The book of Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Uh -huh. For what if some did not believe? Start up at 1. Verse 1. What advantage hath the Jew? So what advantage have the Jew? You, read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? What profit is it of learning this Bible, read? Much every way. Much every way. Every way you have an advantage, read. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Unto you was given the Bible, read. Right. For what if some did not believe? Uh -huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So if somebody don't believe that the nation of Israel will come back as one nation and be saved, what if some did not believe? Will it make this Bible untrue, read? God forbid! No, this Bible is coming to pass. That's prophecies right. must be fulfilled. Christ is the testimony of prophecy, read. Yay, let God be true. This is what I wanted to get to. Let God be true. Right. What, what do we read about God? In the Bible. Let this Bible be true. Right. And what? Let God be true, but every man a liar. And what? Every man a liar. So whatever you hear, that man could be a liar. Every right. man could be a liar. That's why get uh, Acts 17 and 11. Every man out. could be a liar, so what must you do? Bring we about out. to find out. Acts 17, verse 11. The book of Acts, chapter 17, and verse 11. Uh -huh. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. So these people that Paul was teaching, they were more, more noble than those in the other land, uh, other land read. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind. They received the word, they ready to change. They received that word and was ready to change. But they had to do something first, read. And search the scriptures daily. They did what? Search the scriptures daily, uh -huh. whether those things were so. They searched the scriptures daily to see if those things were true. If some man was lying to them or not. Right. right. That's what you got to do, brother. Second Ezra verse 9. So now you know what you must do. Every man's a liar, brother. You must study to show yourself approved. Read. The, the book Lord of Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 36. 11. Verse 11. Uh -huh. And they that hath loathed my law. So the Bible is saying they that have hated my law. Because we out here to teach God's laws to God's people. They come up with questions about other people. Listen, we here to teach you about God's laws to God's people. That's right. Read. And they that have loathed my law. They that have hated my law. 
while they had yet liberty, while they had liberty, grace, and when yet place of repentance was open unto them, place of repentance is open now. They hate God's laws and place of repentance is open now. That's right. We understood not. They didn't understand it. But despised it. They despised God's laws, meaning right, they didn't right. want to do them. They didn't want to change to them. Read. Right. The same must know it after death by pain. Those same people are going to know that the prophets were teaching God's laws after death by pain. Right, right. Because what? They despised God's laws. Get uh, uh, Proverbs 13, 13. Bring it out. Oh, Bring, Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh, look right there. Yeah, that's the Apocrypha. What is that? Okay, see this, see this Bible here? It was in the original King James 1611. That's right. Okay, the so-called Protestant Christians took it out in the late 1700s. Right. Okay, Who, how are the people that's killing everybody going to take something out the, the Holy Word of God? Right, right. It ain't happening. We, we got our history. Read that. The book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13. Read. Whoso despises the word... So who despises this word, read, shall be destroyed. See that? Right. Get uh, first, first Thessalonians 4 and 8. So who despises God's word won't be destroyed. Why do you think that is? Right. Now, now check this out. Because when we come out here to speak to our people, they like, ah, here comes them, them brothers in purple talking about they law. Right. Listen, it ain't our laws. It's God's law. Right. So let's show you why they will be destroyed. Read. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 8. Uh -huh. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man. You don't despise man. You don't despise us up here when you don't want to change to God's word. Read. Right. I see yes. But God. You despise who? God. See, you despise God. But see, that ain't the spirit you got on you. And then all praises to that. You know what? Get uh, sec First Thessalonians two thirteen. Bring it out. Bring it out. Two thirteen. Hey, this word ain't for everybody. Right. This word's for the nation of Israel. That's but right. guess what? A lot right. of the nation of Israel is rebellious. That's right. right. Who get destroyed most of the time through the Bible? The nation of Israel. Why? Because right. they rebellious. That's right. But yes, I see you listening. So this for you, Reek. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2 and verse 13. Uh -huh. For this cause also, thank we God without ceasing. So we thank God without ceasing, read. Because when ye receive the word of God. You receiving the word of God right now. Read. Which ye heard of us. You hearing it from us. But it's the word of God, read. Ye received it not as the word of men. You didn't receive it as word of men. Everybody else think, ah, oh, it's the brothers in purple again. <laughs> They, they talking about how we live and talking about what we got to do. Won't they worry about they self? But you ain't receiving like that. Read that part again. But because when ye received the word of God, uh -huh. which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men. Not as the word of men. But as it is in truth. As it is in truth. What is the truth? As it is in truth, God's law. In the word of God. Which effectually worketh also in you that believe. So the word of God effectually worketh in you that believe. I'm Eldon Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.